So uh, we go together and I've got my uniform on. And by the way, a shave tail in the 9th Infantry Regiment looked like a general in the English Army. Uh, because of all the things that the 9th Infantry Regiment has done, you had a Sam Brown with a belt and with a great big brass buckle that said, keep up the fire. You had a regimental crest here. You had your rank out here. You had your uh, second division infantry Indian on your sleeve. And uh, on your lapel, you had a regimental crest. And then you had your uh, infantry. Oh, first they sent me to a school. They wanted me to be a company commander. That was a captain over a cannon company. This was a new infantry company they were designing where they had cannons mounted on half tracks and uh, they would surprise tanks. They would shoot them up and then they would run and hide. They wouldn't stand and do battle with a tank. It was, uh, the motto was you seek, strike, and destroy. You'd seek and strike, and then you'd run and hide. And so I went down to Texas. I was down in uh, Gatesville, Texas. And they didn't have any barracks down there then, and Karen was still in San Antonio at this time. And uh, another lieutenant and I moved into a house and moved into the front porch of a lady that had a little bedroom on the front porch and uh, this nice Texas put us up. And she wasn't supposed to feed us, but she did once in a while. And these Texas people were just, oh, they were so nice. They had parties for us, they fed us, they did everything in the world for us. But we spent our training. And on this day, it was my day. And this little Piper Cub, this lieutenant would fly out and he would find the tanks and he would let us know where they were and what direction they were going in. And then he would come and he would fly low and drop, drop a cylinder. What's a Piper Cub? A Piper Cub is a little uh, pursuit plane, very small and it only carries a couple of people is all. And uh, they use them for reconnaissance. Reconnaissance is going to look, you know, look around. And so they dropped this uh, tube with uh, uh, a map overlay of where the tanks were and what direction they were going. Then we would take our tank killers, our tanks, uh, uh, half tracks with cannons on, 75 millimeter cannons, and, uh, and we'd weigh in late for these tanks.